What's going on guys, I'm the Milkshake Gamer and welcome back to another episode of Meet the Class. Today, we'll be looking at that awesome defensive tanker guy, the NG from Texas. Now, so, who is, what is the engineer? Who is the engineer? Well, the engineer is the sixth class on the class roster and like I said before, he is probably the best defensive cl uh, okay, that was bad. This bad start, bad start. Okay, this ba this bad. Good at the Spencer, thank you. Okay, so. The NG is a bit different from the other classes. Well, he does have, you know, this normal sort of weapons that he can, you know, shoot people with. What makes him special is that he can make... Oh, yeah. He can construct buildings, which are different, um, sort of, you know, attack, attack, offensive, defensive, supportive things that help his team out. So, it, so he's very much a team player, really. So, the first of which, as you've seen me build multiple times now, is the sentry gun, which is probably one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Repair, repair, bad start, okay. Yeah, so, oh, jeez. Oh damn it! He's gonna kill it. So well, okay. Well, at least I got one kill with it, right? And an assist, yay! But yeah, so the engine can build three different kinds of buildings. The first being the sentry, the second being the dispenser, as you're seeing me put up right now, and which, and finally the third, teleporters, which are yeah. So the dispenser, first off. It's ca it's probably the embodiment of support of the support class because what it does when when um team pl when your p players on your team come close to it they are restored health and um they also get ammo. <laughs> Got a crit on him, stupid guy. Oh god. Well, my team's getting steamrolled. Did I just get stair stabbed? I think I got stair stabbed. What the hell? Okay, well that's not important. So. Teleporters, pretty self-explanatory. You go into the entrance, you come out the exit. That's probably the embodiment of offense. And sentry guns are just the ultimate defensive weapon because they can, they um, deal some of the highest damage output in the game, and they hold down a fort incredibly well. So panic attack. Yeah, I'll get it later. So um, now the. NG's, the NG's weapon arsenal isn't really that important because all his firepower is usually in his century. However, I will go through some of his different weapons. First off is just the shotgun. You guys have you guys have seen this before in the Actually wait no, I probably I don't think I have shown you the normal shotgun before. <laughs> anyway, I don't think it's hard to figure out how it works. Basically the scattergun with just not as good as a ramp up, and then he has the pistol, which Functions exactly the same as the Scout's pistol, dealing the exact same amount of damage, except it somehow has a much, much higher ammo, which is pretty cool, but anyway, so, oh jeez, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, they've seen the sentry, no, get, get out, no, what the hell, it wouldn't let me go pick it up. He was in front of me. Wow, okay, I'm, have, I am, this is a bad start. Um, well, as you can see, I'm on Bo I'm on Thunder- no, I'm on Borneo, I think. No, wait, no, what is this map? I don't even know. Eh. Yeah, no, I don't. It's Thunder Mountain, it's Thunder Mountain, okay, okay. Got, got it, got it. So, playing on Thunder Mountain, I don't think I'm actually going to do bots on the introduction- ow. Yeah, I'm not doing bots on the introduction video anymore, but- So, I don't- do I need to sh no, I don't think I really need to showcase the shotgun and the pistol, so I'll just move on straight on to the next weapon. So, the next shotgun I'll show you is the Frontier Justice. The next secondary weapon we'll be looking at, well, the only other secondary weapon we'll be looking at, because it's the only one I have, is the Wrangler. And the next wrench we'll be looking at is the Southern Hospitality. So, well, most wrenches for the NG somehow change the way he builds sentries or something like that. The Southern Hospitality is the only one I can think of that actually changes its function as a melee weapon. What it does is when you hit someone, it makes them bleed for five seconds. You know, four, four damage for every second, but 
in in return oh I can get this guy. In return for that, it can't deal critical hits. Ah, oh, come on. Yes, got him. Wow. Wow, I, I'm, that was a really good attack run. I don't think... That's probably not something you should try to do as NG, what I just did, but... I don't know. I guess I got lucky. But Anyway, so... Sun it, it it gives you that It gives you that extra bleeding effect in return for no, no random critical hits. And... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, uh, damn it. And also, it gives you 20% more vulnerable to fire, so... It's an okay wrench, but it's not something I... That, you know, would be my top suggestion for using. But anyway, so... That was an awesome kill. That That's going in the montage. If I ever make a montage, that's going in it. That was pretty, pretty awesome. Anyway, so... You just saw what the Frontier Justice does, actually. What it does is that for every, um, while you're, while you've got a sentry up, it tracks every kill assist and every kill you get with it. And for every kill you get with it, you, um, damn it, wish I had to... Wait, no, I could have taunt killed him! Oh my god, the Frontier Justice is a taunt kill. Uh, I could have taunt killed him. Damn it. Okay, well, anyway, so, yeah. In front, it tracks every kill assist and every kill that your sentry gets, and when your sentry dies, it grants you one crit for every assist you got and two kills for two crits for every normal kill you got. So, basic. So it basically um gives you that extra bit of firepower to escape once your sentry dies. Which, and if you get on a really big killing spree with your sentry while you've got the frontier justice equipped, you can go into an equally big killing spree afterwards because you'll have so many guaranteed crits stored up. However, it cannot receive critical hits and it also has like, uh, got this. I, I'm starting to think that I might need to change my strategy. But yeah, and it has a reduced clip size. It's got half the clip size of a normal shotgun, so it's only got three. So it's, it's, it's still, it's not a bad, it's actually a really good shotgun. Definitely not my favorite, but it's a, it's a pretty effective shotgun to boot, and the, oh, uh oh, ouch, ouch, ow, get wrecked by my sentry, <coughs> booyah, but yeah, so, um, I, I need to show you the secondary weapon, I've been neglecting this, sorry, sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a while, guys, because, um, I got caught, I got caught up last weekend, I wasn't able to upload, but, Anyway, uh, that's why I'm a bit lost for words, I haven't done a video in a while, but anyway, so, this, that's my sentry doing damage, wow, okay. YES! Booyah, baby! Yay! We did it, guys, we successfully defended! Oh god, it's changing maps, hold on. Just hold on a little bit, guys, but... Damn it. I hate it when it changes map. So many people are quitting. Okay. Well, yeah, so anyway, other than that, the Frontier Justice Oh uh, sorry, I think I finished talking about this Frontier Justice. I didn't even get a chance to show you the Wrangler. I'll explain it and then I'll show you afterwards. So what the Wrangler does is that when you equip the Wrangler, like hold it out, you gain um you take remote control of your sentry. While this is happening you control where it shoots, you control where it shoots, that's about all you can do, but that's beside the point. And it, and what also happens is that while you've while you've got control of the sentry, you can con I keep repeating myself. After be, uh, while being on top of being able to control it, your sentry also gains a shield that reduces damage by 66%, which is pretty da pretty damn good. Um, con considering that you can't, and it's more than makes up for the fact that it won't shoot people automatically. And okay, I've got the cleanest carbine. That's not that all that great, but whatever. So, the Wrangler is actually really good for giving your sentry a lot of survivability. However, it does decrease the amount of accuracy you'll have with your sentry simply because you you'll never be able to shoot as accurately as a sentry. But anyway, it does it does actually when you do remote control it it does sort of 
lock onto enemies as well a little bit if they're close enough to the laser. And also, when you're shooting it, it means you have infinite range. Um, the sentry is no longer held down by only being able to shoot a certain range. And it also doubles its fire rate, so its damage output also increases when you're wrangling it. So it's a, actually a really, um, really good utility weapon to boot, but of course, in return, you know, you can't, you can't, it won't shoot as accurately and all that jizz, but honestly, it's a small price to pay. Wow, that was, that's a good start. Oh god, I'm not gonna have enough. Okay, let's go. Is that a spy? No, that's not a spy. Okay. That, that, there is a spy here, though. Is there? <laughs> yeah. So, oh, I forgot to mention about buildings. Each building has, what, um, three stages of upgrading? You hit, you hit, um, buildings with your wrench both to build them faster, to upgrade them, and to refill their ammo. And each of these costs metal, as which is the little number down there that it, um, that's indicating how much metal I have, so. Uh-oh. Yeah. Ah, see? I wasn't able to get that soldier before because he was out of my range, but now that I was I had wrangled it, I was actually able to get him, but doesn't matter. Anyway, so, so that's the Wrangler, that's actually my weapon of choice, so I'm going to keep that equipped. But the next re next melee weapon we'll be looking at is the Gunslinger, and the next shotgun we'll be looking at is the Widowmaker, so... I'm, you know what, I'm going to... Let's just go like this, you know? Oh, what? I, oh, okay. Well, as, as you notice, I've got a taunt now. It's like the first step, time I've ever um, like bought a taunt on the market. Oh, well, yeah, so, yeah, you know, it's cool. It's, cool. it's not the Kasotsky kick, but it's something. Anyway, alright, time to get back into business. Okay, so, uh, what the, sorry I'm not demonstrating the other buildings, but I'm not very much of a team player, I don't often build the other buildings, but, anyway, so, this is the Gunslinger, and what this gun does is, is really weird, actually, so, just, just bear with me. Oh, jeez. Damn it, my sentry gun got wrangled. Damn it. Alright, so... What happens with the um, gunslinger is that it gives you 25 more health, your sentry gun build speed is increased, and every third successful punch is a crit. In return, you get no random critical hits, and your sentry gun changes from a normal sentry to a mini sentry. What makes a mini-sentry different is that it costs 30 less metal, it now only costs 100. It... Uh-oh. Yeah, so it costs 30 less metal to build, it has twice the fire rate of a normal sentry, and also half the damage. So it actually has the same damage output in the end, anyway. Ow. Damn it, okay. Well, I tried at least. Medic! Medic, medic, you ass! Stop pocketing that guy, help me! Yeah, so yeah. The gunslinger, the mini sentry, while it can't be upgraded and pretty much has to stay at the same strength of a normal sent of a level 1 sentry, it can actually be, re using a mini sentry can actually be really good for trying to play offensively as the, um, as the, um, as the NG, because you don't have to take the same amount of time you normally would to build up a sentry, and, you know, so it's, it makes it easier to play offensive, but, you know, in return, it's not a very good, it's not a very good sentry gun to boot, but, anyway, I haven't told, I haven't shown you the shotgun yet, which I will now show you once I, wow, you can tell that guy was a free-to-play, anyway, so, Next shotgun I'll be showing you is the Widowmaker. So, basically, I'll explain what the Widowmaker does. It, um... Huh. Okay, yeah, so... It draws it draws on metal as ammo, and it has... And because of that, it doesn't need to be reloaded. 
And every time you hit someone, the damage you dealt with that shot is returned to you as metal. So if I... It uses up 30 metal each time, but like if I deal like an 80 damage meat shot with it, that means that I'll get 80... 80 it means I'll actually get my metal reserves increased because I dealt so much damage. And so that's... It's actually... The Widowmaker's up there with actually my second favorite... Um, engineer shotgun because just because of you know it having the potential to be a rapid fire um rent rapid fire um shotgun with a bottomless clip oh my God. but it can That's be really shotgun. annoying when you miss a lot of shots and then you know you lose you miss all the shots and then you lose all your metal and that spy wasn't very good but anyway so it's a re it's actually a really good melee weapon and I it's my second favorite in the game, but it's not quite as good good enough to bring it up to my favorite, and I will show you my favorite on the next live, so... Eh, I just I'll build a dispenser for everybody. Just grab some ammo... What's this? Mm. Also, you're probably wondering why I'm hitting my buildings with my... Oh, that's right, it's up there. Silly me. Or is that mine? No, it's not mine. Eh. You're probably wondering why I'm hitting things with my wrench when I'm building them, and that's because when you've got the... Eh, I need a distraction to push that. Okay, so... And that's because when you hit a building with your wrench while it's um, being built, it actually increases the rate at which it, up it gets built, or upgrades. Eh. Uh-oh. Go. Yeah, and you probably saw just there that the the laser kind of locked on, and oh jeez, that's bad. Okay, I'm changing now. So now, now we get to my favorite weapons in the game. You've got the rescue ranger, and that's all the melee weapons. So I'll just go back to the wrench. So actually, all I'm showing you is the rescue ranger. So the rescue ranger is really something actually it's my absolute favorite shotgun in the game for the ng and there's good reason for that and i'll show you why so let me just build a sentry first um wow the other team is being steam by us. there we go let's just wrangle that come on come on Uh oh. Yes. We did it. The teamwork. I better replenish its ammo. Okay, that's all my metal then. Okay. So, Rescue Ranger. That's why it's so good. What it does is it has bolts that, when when shot at your sentry, can actually repair it. And not only that, I'll show you what it does now because I probably won't get another chance because I'm going to die soon. Um. So the Rescue Ranger has a decreased clip size, it's back down to 4, and 50% less max primary ammo on wearer, so that means it only gives, you've only got like 16 in your, in your reserves, but in return it restores the ammo of sentries that, you're, um, that you shoot, it restores the health of sentries that you shoot at, and when you right click it at a distance, you can, oh that's right I don't have enough, I don't have enough metal. When you right click on it at a distance, you can pull it back. At the cost of 100 metal, you can pull your precious sentry back out of danger. And that is a brilliant feature for it to have. And it's it's just, I don't even know really what to say about it. It's actually such a good weapon. So, you know, wow. Some people. Yeah. Okay, so, that's, that's the Rescue Ranger. It's a brilliant weapon. It has some downsides and since since it's a bolt and it doesn't spread, it's not very good for sh actually shooting people with, but as a utility weapon, it may be one of the best weapons in Team Fortress 2. So, now that that's all the weapons I have for the NG actually, so now I'll show you some gameplay tips and my loadout of choice. So, I've actually got my loadout of choice here. I've got my loadout of choice is the Rescue Ranger, the Wrangler, 
and the stock wrench, and I'll use my skin wrench here, and this is the real reason that I actually did it, the, I decided to do the NG video today because because of in celebration of my first very first unboxing. So the other day, I put some money on my Steam wallet, and I actually did my very first unboxing. I did an Airwolf case, and I'm celebrating that because the very first thing I unboxed had a stat clock attached to it, if you'll see that while I'm inspecting it. And not only that, it's just kind of exciting for me to, for me to first unbox a weapon. Maybe that makes me sound like a scrub, but... It, it, I just, I'm so excited, and I'm, I feel so lucky that I got a stat clock on the first try, so I, I'm really happy about that, and that's why I decided to do an NG video today in commemoration of that, so, thank, um, and also to thank you guys for watching, really, but, um, so yeah, this, that's my, thank you guys for watching my videos, and I've, I'm so excited about this unboxing, I'm gonna, I've, I have, I'm actually starting to earn a little bit more money now, so I'll be able to unbox more often. I might even do a couple videos on it, but I'm, I'm so excited about this. I've never been much of a pay-to-play on TF2, so I'm excited now that I'm finally getting the chance to spend some money on it and buy some crates, so. Yeah, come on. Damn it. Okay, might as well upgrade it. Eh. Eh. But yeah, so, my very first unboxing, um, I, I also unboxed another weapon the other day, um, this morning, actually, which I'll show you, but this is, this is my very first unboxed weapon, and I'm just so excited that it was a stat clock, so, uh, thank you guys, I want to thank you guys for, you know, watching my videos, I know I don't have that many viewers, but for those of you who do, thank you so much, and thank you for, yeah, just thanks, and... This, yeah, I don't, I don't even really know what to say. Sorry, I'm out of practice after not what making a video for so long, but yeah. So, NG, NG is probably when you're using stock wrench and normal sentry gun, you're probably best to play defense as an NG because it's hard to um set up an offensive station of a sentry gun since they take so long to set up and they're so bulky. But now, when you do defend, that God. Well, my team's just steamrolling these guys. I don't even have a chance to use my sentry, and that's that's mainly why setting um you shouldn't um set up a sentry gun when you're attacking. So anyway, let's go. Ah, I love killing scouts. All right, so and yeah, and I forgot to say the rest. So the main um strategy for this loadout I have is to Build up a sentry and then make full use of the rescue ranger, making sure you'll be able to repair your sentry but not putting yourself in danger by being right near it when everyone wants to kill it. So that's that's the strategy and of course the rescue ranger also allows you to pull it out of danger if things get a bit too heated. Nope. Damn it, it was sapped. Damn it. Okay. Well, might as well just build another one. Oh god, someone's coming. I think I've got ammo right here. Eh. But yeah, so main strategy with the um, NG, all I can really say is to stay back. Stay low, make sure you don't get yourself into too much trouble, so you have time to build up your act your real weapon, the sentry gun. And that, oh, good spy check there. Eh. So, yeah, and that's really it. Stay back, build up your defenses, and when people come near your sentry gun, wreck them. Or just let the sentry gun wreck them. Okay. Also, be careful not to stand in front of your sentry gun, because it can hurt you. Actually, I think I'm going to put it here. Wow, we're, we're absolutely steamrolling these guys. I have to keep moving the sentry. God. Come 
Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh man. Oh god. Damn it, come on, don't die, sentry. Yes, getting kills with it. Building up that stat clock. Yeah. Alright, okay, I gotta, I gotta go. Damn, I wish I could move faster. Let's see, how many kills have I got? 106, I've only gotten 5, that's okay. We, we absolutely steamrolled these. I, I was saying that before, but we have absolutely wrecked these guys. Oh, come on, don't do that. Yes, double kill. Okay, well, back on red, and... Well, that's really it for the video, guys. I'm sorry, I didn't talk very much. I'm a bit out of practice, so I haven't done a video in a while. But So that was the engineer. I... I know I didn't have much weapons for him, but I hope you liked him, and I hope you enjoyed watching me play, and I hope you guys are happy that I also got this awesome weapon, and I'm, I'm, again, thank you guys for, thank you guys who do watch for supporting the channel, thank you for watching my videos, I do this for fun, I don't do this for anything other, other than that, and I just really appreciate that people take the time out of their day to watch my videos, so, thank, thank you guys for that, and, thank you for watching really so this has been i've been the milkshake gamer i this and this has been meet the engineer i hope you guys got something out of it or if nothing else just enjoyed the gameplay and as always i'll see all you guys in the next video bye bye